think the Wooster group uh, has made an aesthetic movement, you know, out of their own style of, of enormous importance and influence. Uh, Richard Foreman's crazy, uh, you know, my brain is the stage, you know, kind of uh, uh, work is, uh, has been really, really influential in ways that we, we don't even know. You know, I think, uh, like uh, Hal Prince's staging of Sweeney Todd with the lines across the stage, you know, that's, that's pure Richard Foreman, you know. Uh, these things, you know, affect, affect each other. So those, now we're getting somewhere with the, with the aesthetic movements. Those are, those are the, but, the, but those are more individual artists' innovations, you know rather than a, an art movement or something like that. But, um, but you know, but uh, uh, ensembles are enormously important and they're politically important too because a lot, a lot of times these are people with like-minded politics who get together to make theater to, to try to effect change. The first thing you need to know is that you know, the, all those images you see of New Orleans are, it really is, I mean, it's a real terrible situation there. Uh, not just, you know, f for the, uh, in the Lower Ninth Ward where it looks like desert, but uh, there are whole swa swatches of, whole sections of New Orleans that are, that are really look po post-apocalyptic, you know. It's, uh, and nothing seems to be happening there very much. But uh, the, the main professional theater there, Southern Rep, is located right at the foot of Canal Street in a building that was damaged. There were fires in there and so forth. They're back in their theater now, and they're producing again on a, a, a limited scale. Um, and a lot of small theater groups seem to be you know, plugging along. So there is a theatrical, a theatrical life there, but um, uh, the economy in general is just so bad that, you know, people are leaving town and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty grim scene and uh, nobody knows at this point uh, what's going to happen. They haven't, there hasn't been, you know, uh, FEMA had a, up until about a month ago, FEMA had a rule that uh, performing arts organizations were not eligible for any help whatsoever, uh, even while, uh, while uh, other arts, like libraries and museums are, but performing arts organizations, no. Well, that just got changed through, in no small part, uh, TCG's lobbying efforts. That finally got changed just about a month ago, and uh, uh, this means that organizations like Southern Rep will finally be able to apply to FEMA, to the government, uh, for, for operating assistance, and so forth. So maybe that'll make a Maybe that'll make a difference. If, you know, if one of you wanted to write for American Theater, you would contact us. Uh, um, I would probably ask for uh, writing samples to get to know you better, to get to know what your uh, area of expertise is, how, how you write, what you're interested in. Um, and we would communicate back and forth and try to hit upon something that you're interested in, know about, want to talk about, and that we need as well for the magazine. Well, uh, <coughs> thank you so much for this. It was